Hello, my name is Stephanie Toman. I'm the East Deal Manager. I uh, run the East Deal Programme. Uh, this is continuing with the um, videos on accredited advanced ICT qualification spreadsheets, also known as advanced spreadsheets. Um, it can be called A342COM. You may hear that going around as well. It's all the same thing. So there's already been a series of videos done on week two. Um, and the sections there and also a follow-up on that for the weekly revision week two. So if we look at the next slide we can see that in this series on week three we're going to be looking at these areas, the sections in the manual, everything always um, is, relates back to the, uh, the manual and we're going to look at outline scenarios and linking and importing. Remember we've already covered the week two weekly revision questions 1 to 12 in a previous video and I'll be doing a separate video for week, these weekly revision exercise questions 13 to 19 that relate to this um, these areas above. Okay so let's go and do that. Um, we need the lecture materials and we need to make sure that we're in week 3 sections 8, 9 and 10. If we open that up, you'll see that there's two folders in this one. We've got the outlines and scenarios, and we've got the linking and importing. So I'm going to do two separate videos on this. So let's open up the outlines and scenarios and open up outlining. So outlining, as you can see over here, is used to show a different amount of information to different users. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a, a feature that will just automatically um, allow you to collapse and expand information. So if we click in the data, on the data tab, remember in the exam, note, it's good to know where certain things are so you can get there quickly. So a lot of features are in the um, data tab. We've already used text columns in the, the last series. And we're going to be using what if analysis soon. And then we've got this outline group here is what we're going to use today. So if we click on the drop down there, you may just see it as a straightforward outline group because my, um, my ribbon's a little bit squished. So if we click on auto outline, you can see straight away that these column index numbers appear. And if we click on one, you'll watch. I'm just going to bring the screen up a little bit so you can see the data a bit better. And you'll see that the total, the main total, if I click on one, collapses to the main total and headings, which is the savings. Click on two, and you will see the headings and subtotals and total. And on three, you will go back to the main data. So it shows and hides, or it collapses and expands, whichever way you want to, to view that. If you want to clear an outline, then it's back to the one, the one that ungroups outline and then clear outline and everything goes back to its original state. Okay. Another thing you can do, they won't ask you in the test, but you can group individual things, hence you've got the group and the ungroup. So you could group a particular area if that's what you wanted. So you would just see that one and then ungroup. Okay, so that's our outlines, not a lot to it. I've put a few um, sheets in just to help with uh, revision, but I don't think you'll have too much trouble with that one. Nice and quick. So I'm going to close that one. I'm not going to say. I'm going to look at scenarios, another one uh, that comes up in the syllabus. So scenarios, we can find... Let's open it up. Um, it's a model, a certain key input values are carried to see the effect of a resulting solution. So it's a what if, if you like. What if, if I do this, this, what happens to the profit? If I do that, what happens to the profit? X, Y, and Z. So we're, it's affecting these cells here, the F5 to H5. And the profit affected is here. And at the bottom of the screen, I've just dropped some um, figures in that's been used for each of the scenarios. So let's look at what the um, test would expect from you with regard to this feature. So back to uh, data tab and the what if analysis popped in here and there's the scenario manager. 
So you can see, if I just scroll, pull that down, you can see that this is the worst, the guess, and the best. I'll just close that a minute and scroll down so you can see. So it's I've got these highlighted and coming down, and you can see that this is what's gone into each of these um, what if analysis. So these. So if we click in the worst and click on edit, we can see what it's applying to. OK, and then it comes up with the figures that have been inputted into that. If we go in the guess, we go into edit and OK again, and we can see what figures are in there. These can be changed, so they could be edited. And then best. Let's have a look on that one. And let's make that 100, 200, and 300, just for ease. So what can happen is you can see that if it's on best, I can show the figures for best, and it affects the total profit. For the guess one, if I show, you can see that one. And for the worst scenario, show, you can see there is no profit at all. And we could go in and edit that. And we could think, well, yeah, it's not going to be that bad. It's bad, but and we could up the data to change the scenario. And you can see now it's changed. The other thing you can do for the um, syllabus, what's expected of you and for the exam, is to delete one of these or two of these, whatever they ask you to do. So you would select yes, delete, and it's gone. Do you add a new one? You click on add. And you could put guess in again. It's affecting that. If you've forgotten to say what range it is having an effect on, you can pick it up again there. And when you OK, you could change the figures um, or add the figures that they ask you to, to input. And then you've got your guess and you can see that it shows there. The other thing that they may ask you to do is to use this button. So they want a summary of the uh, scenarios that you've created so if you click on the summary and it's affecting the profit which is correct click on ok and the summary gets dropped in front of the sheet that you're using automatically and it shows each of the scenarios that you've created so that's the um, what if analysis the scenario manager and um, quite straightforward but just remember, it's the one that you're going to be using if they ask you and where it is. OK, so I'm just going to stop that one and don't save. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next video, um, which will be covering linking and importing.